Good afternoon, this is Jeff with Sewer Tech Northwest. Today we're at 12627 Southwest Bexley Lane here in Tigard. I describe everything as if you're standing in the street uh, looking at the front door. We are just to the right of the front doorway. Clean out sits almost directly in front of the very first foundation bent you come to here. It's just barely offset to it. Three inch ABS. We're going to check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. Water is running. All right, sorry about that. Took a second to get the camera oriented there. All right, and off we go here. That right there is a clean and spiffy flow line. That is exactly how you want your sewer line to look right there. The homeowners here are doing a fantastic job of keeping cooking oil and grease out of the line. I mean, it does not look like a drop has ever gone down this thing. I see brand new, never lived in construction houses that don't, I mean, that show more signs of life than this. This is amazing. And that, that, I am a huge stickler on, on grease buildup. It is uh, it's something that a lot of households don't pay much attention to. And at this point in my career, oh, I've cameraed 24,000 sewer lines at this point. Grease buildup is more concerning to me than a lot of structural issues. Sorry, that water flow might cut out for just a second there. Anyway, we're transitioning here over to 4 3034 PVC pipe. Thus far, immaculate sewer line. And if you want to keep your line looking this clean and spiffy, that is exactly the one habit you want to keep up on. It's not putting your cooking oil and grease down the, the sink drain. Obviously, you want to keep improper items out of your line, like paper towels and wipes. Flushable wipes I include in that category. Things that get hung up in your line and don't often grease buildup that causes those items, the occasional improper things that go down your line to get stuck. Now we've reached the main here at 52 feet. We're going to go locate that really quick here while the line drains out. And then we'll have another look at every, this is one of those lines, the thing is so dang clean that the water flow isn't even obscuring my view. I can tell you right now, we're not going to find anything on our way back. Alrighty, located the camera head successfully. The line terminates out on Southwest Bexley. So again, as you look at the house from the street, the line, it, it runs, I mean, for a sewer line, it runs relatively straight. It jogs over toward the driveway um, where, my, where my locate comes in out in the street, lines up very nicely with the right side edge of the driveway. So I, I don't locate every inch of the sewer line unless there's repairs that are needed. But based on that, the line is either running down just barely to the right of the driveway edge or just barely under. Oh, this thing is incredible how clean it is. And some some people get really antsy and they'll clean their line out before the sale of a house just to make look things extra look extra good. I can I mean this is just a natural state of how how clean this line is. If you see at the top there, you've got that white staining and those little spots. That's mildew film or mildew fungal growth and water stains. If you run a jetter through a line, it strips all that stuff off of there. That, that takes years to develop that stuff right there. So. This is a, probably about one of the most perfect examples of how you can treat your sewer line right here. And we're in one of those parts of town where you have a lot of retirees, and what I have found is 
folks of that generation, many of them grew up on septic systems and had very good habits put into place from mom and dad not wanting their septic system to overload on them from grease buildup and paper towels and stuff. All right, we are just about back to the clean out here. We're going to flip around for just a moment and go backwards through the foundation wall just to make sure everything looks good there. Everything beyond that point is all exposed piping in the crawl space. And that stuff the home inspector looks at. And we are looking good going back to the foundation wall. You have just the ever so slightest little bit of settling there that's taking place. That's so minor, it's not even going on my report. We're talking somewhere between a 32nd and a 16th of an inch of standing water there. Water that minor has no bearing on flow whatsoever. And for reference, I don't even consider repairs on, st on standing water uh, until you have at least an inch of standing water. That's static with no water running at all for a minimum of five feet. Um, even at that point in the plastic sewer line, it is still nearly 100% up to the homeowner as whether it ever manifests itself. A five-foot belly with an inch of water in it, for example, blocks when the homeowner abuses a sewer line with improper items and or flushes ginormous wads of toilet paper down the line, both of which are abusive. So anyway, that right there is about as good as a sewer scope goes. Great flow end-to-end. -end. All the pipe is in great shape and to boot absolutely spotless clean. You're getting to take over a line here that is um, absolutely a clean slate. Great looking line. And it is functioning properly at this time.